other important thing about the propeller is the propeller is designed to convert torque to thrust. Yeah, this is in my opinion the most important fa uh, 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 factor. How the propeller converts the torque produced for the engine. Remember that I explained a lot of uh, time that uh, the most important is the torque. The propeller converts that torque into thrust. And right now the boat is moving. More thrust, more speed, more thrust, more load. The idea is that the vertical forces be higher in comparison with the drag. And at the end of the equation, you have excellent sustentation and the plane flow. If I modify that one, I increase that one higher. And now I have more sustentation, bigger sustentation. And of course, the negative forces are reduced. For that reason, during the landing and the takeoff, you see that the captain moved a little down the leading edge in the airplane. All right, this is the explanation about, about uh, the propeller. I am the boat, I am the transom of the boat, I am the transom of the boat, and you are facing the boat from the back. This is the starboard side and this is the port side of the boat. Okay? This is the propeller of the starboard side and this propeller is moving in this direction and advance over there. The face, the face of the blade is this and the back of the blade is this. Uh, and now we are going to calculate the diameter of the propeller in each particular case. And uh, we are going to do example uh, about uh, that situation. Okay, my friend, uh, this is the, the typical formula. This is the typical formula used uh, to calculate uh, the diameter of the propeller uh, should be equal to the square root of 160 times the horsepower divided by the dar times the speed of the boat in knots and times the square uh, uh, root the speed of the boat in knots. Okay, this is the minimum propeller diameter for planning holes. This is for planning holes. Now we are going to analyze what is the meaning, what is the meaning of, of the DAR. Now we are going to analyze what is the meaning of the DAR. You see that, you see that propeller with five blades? That propeller, if you check the blades, they are overlap one, one over the other one. Yeah. Uh, the dar of that propeller is more than one. Well, it's one point two yeah. because because they, because they overlap. Right. Like like this boat. Look at this with the, with six blades. That's overlap. This overlap. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Those blades. Six blades overlap. Oh. Probably the dar is one point two, one point three. And look at the at the off center in between the rudder and the and the cap. Yeah. Okay, in this particular case, we are going to use the, the, the formula. The diameter of the propeller is uh, 160 times the horsepower and divided by the DAR. Uh, uh, in the boat of uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Molina, Daciel Molina in Los Cayos, uh, I found it a propeller with uh, adjustable uh, uh, blades and foldable uh, blades. Uh, this is the situation. Years ago, I, I, I never seen an uh, adjustable Beach propeller is common in this type of sailboat, no? Uh, it is. It has a couple of um, different uh, uh, pros and cons, like everything on a boat.